Platz, Buschi. I think it's very difficult to relate between, connect between uh, terms like assimilation and connection or separation. I think a person who doesn't study the wisdom of Kabbalah just... No, I'm explaining it to you where I can use two words and explain it. Sure, but I'm talking about the book. Uh, I thought now, what does a person understand about assimilation? It's mostly conversion of your religion, taking on uh, other customs and rituals, and mostly intermarriage. And so, in Russia, it was 80%, in U.S., 50%, let's say. You can look at data. And so, it turns out that if I didn't marry a Jew or something like that, then I'm responsible for the next Holocaust and troubles. That's that's a, a problem. The, ex, in the explanation is difficult. Maybe we shouldn't touch that because there are things that there's not much you can do about, maybe. Yeah, but... Why should we awaken things that are... barely correctable? are fixable. Uh, we have to look forward. What can we explain that will truly be accepted in a logical way, not against the desire, and will bring forth a good and quick result? Only in such a way. To say that the next Holocaust will come because we have intermingling in, in marriages. I'm saying that's what's being concluded. It's all right eventually, but there's nothing you can do. We're already past that. We've, we're past that. What can we do next? If we're advancing, other than that, I will tell you, I'm not too worried about all, all this mixed marriages and all those things. I'm not for purifying all the whole, like the Nazis, all the, the, the race from, from, from this blood or that blood. We need, on the contrary, we need to come to a state in which the whole world will be as one family, as one man in one heart. So our direction in the time when we're engaged in the general correction, in the end of correction, of all of humanity. So there's no difference here, not black, white, red, yellow, etc. Nor, moreover, not of nationalities. Let everyone get connected and married and, and all that. But they should all understand that the connection is their salvation. So if connection is salvation, then mixed marriages also goes hand in hand with the correction. That's why I'm saying that in the next edition or in the Russian or Hebrew versions of the book, we have to really explain what we mean by assimilation and conversion, that and, and that it has to do with uh, that we're talking about separation and connection, because otherwise what a person understands about assimilation is what he was taught. And, and then maybe I miss, uh, m missed Correct. it, but I didn't. I didn't feel it clearly from the book. No, not from this book, because this book does not explain for us what's ahead about the end of correction, about the general unification, and therefore, if we're saying now that tomorrow, the good tomorrow, is that we will all be connected as one family, as one man and one heart. And all of us in love and in embrace. Now, what are you going to be talking about? The prohibition for mixed marriages, that you're not allowed to get married with a Jew, with a not Jew? Or of course not. It's, again, it's against our, uh, our agenda in general, our line in general. It's, yeah, that's why we need to explain our line a little better. Uh, and you have no problem with assimilation in Russia and America, or in Europe. It's mostly in America. There's no problem. Moreover, you can say, live, live in peace, everything is fine. Because we are going towards the general end of correction. Only religions 
differentiate between nations and people and everyone as this is the breakthrough of the ego in another way which is the religions and we're not we are above that. In general, I understood that in all of history, the assimilation, both in terms of the first temple and the, the Hellenization and the, the Rome, uh, it's, I understood that it's all about the distancing from the concept of unity. That's the, the concept of unity that we receive. This is something that we have to explain throughout the whole thing. For a person, this is a weird. Yes, correct. This is why we we see that Jews battled against Jews and not against the Romans or the Greek or others. Yes, we, we need to explain this better. You're right. Slowly, slowly, until we complete this book, we will have a better opinion of what else needs to be added. It might be 